welcome to DC TechNet, which is your own channel. So do like, share, and subscribe. It will not take more than two seconds to click on the subscribe button. As you are aware, we at DC TechNet do a lot of experimentation and we experience, and we always like to share our experiences with everyone, and we also like to do something different so on this note let us see what we have today today uh, we are going to focus on the blue screen of death or BSOD in short and we are only going to focus on is the blue screen of death bad So let's see what we have on the agenda today. So we'll see what is blue screen of death. That will be brief. Then we'll see the basic causes of blue screen of death. And we'll focus on is the blue screen of death bad? Because it stopped the world okay, for the entire day on, on the 19th. So let's move ahead. So what is a blue screen of death? So a BSOD stands for blue screen of death. It is an error screen displayed on Windows computers following a fatal system error, also known as a blue dump error or blue screen of death. So there are several names for it. So this screen typically indicates that the operating system has encountered a critical problem from which it cannot recover without restarting. Now this blue screen of death just can happen say any time at the time of boot or while you're working on any application or anything. It's not the case that it only happens at the time of system boot. Now the blue screen of death or BSOD usually displays an error code and a brief description of the problem which can help us in diagnosing the underlying issue. So it always displays an error code or a brief description in the say uh, newer versions of operating system it will only display the brief description. So in this screenshot, we can see that uh, there's a stop code, bad, pool, caller. So th again, that's a brief description. There's no error code over there. But, the, but in the earlier, say, uh, versions of Windows, we used to see some of the error codes like this. Okay, so 0xof or 0xoe, 0xob. So these were the error codes in the earlier versions of Windows. These are also called as stop codes, stop error codes. So let's see what are some of the say basic causes of blue screen of death. So issues with drivers. So according to Microsoft statistics, approximately say 70 percent of blue screens occur due to faulty third-party drivers the company has not the third-party company has not tested their drivers thoroughly with the microsoft operating system so the operating system just halts over there just stops throwing a blue screen same thing happened with the crowd strike say a driver csagent.sys got up upgraded and it completely halted the windows operating system say which led to a chaos in the world of windows worldwide so this was the issue it was not an issue with the windows operating system or the microsoft okay 
So one of the causes can be software problems. So this error can appear in say, relation to software incompatibility with the Windows operating system. Again, hardware problems. So faulty RAM, faulty hard drive, your faulty motherboard, processor, power supplies, etc. can be one of the reasons for the blue screen. Again, there can be some malwares on our operating system which can say corrupt our system files leading to blue screens and definitely sometimes say overheating also causes blue screens on some of the systems. Now to be very honest with you this overheating caused blue screen on my laptop and uh, I changed the CPU fan and it, everything went fine after that. So let's come back to the basic question. Is blue screen of death or PSOD bad? The answer is absolutely no. Blue screen of death is good. Let's understand why the reason it is good. So blue screen of death or BSOD acts as a defense mechanism for the Windows operating system. It holds the system to prevent further damages and data corruptions. So by stopping all the operations, BSOD allows users to diagnose critical issues. So though it is disruptive and everyone knows how disruptive it is, it safeguards the integrity of the hardware and the software. So the operating system will simply halt, that's it, stop. It will not go ahead. So it's a defense mechanism. It will prevent data corruptions and damages to the data and the operating system itself. So this is a good thing. Okay. So most of the time just by single reboot will solve the issue. So we are not here to discuss how to solve the blue screen of death issues. But I think uh, you are, uh, uh, you got the idea why blue screen of death or BSOD is good. And this was the thought process why Microsoft introduced blue screen of death in their Windows operating system. Because they don't want the customer's data to be damaged or corrupt because of some third party drivers. So let's summarize what we have seen today. Today uh, our topic was is blue screen of death bad and uh, we came to the conclusion that no blue screen of death is not at all bad. It is say a good thought process from Microsoft which will safeguard our data. Thank you everyone for joining today's session. Hope you have learned something new. So if you have learned something new, we request you to please say share this channel and subscribe. Share the channel with your friends and your technical community. And have a great day.